The popular Jet Fighter Simulation series is about to get another big boost with the pending release of Jet Fighter 3, which is being designed to be a sim for the average game player, someone who loves to play fighter sims but doesn't necessarily want to have to learn the equivalent of six months of fighter school to play. It includes all the best features found in other high-end fighter sims without having the large learning curve that is usually associated with most games of this type. The player is a UN pilot stationed aboard the UNS Peacekeeper, an ironic name for a warship until you realize that the slogan for Jet Fighter 3 is Global Peace Through Deadly Firepower. Anyway, Jet Fighter 3 includes over 100 missions to fly in various parts of the world. These are not historical missions, but missions which could very easily come up in today's world political situation like Argentina invading Chile or Cuba getting into bed with the Colombian drug cartel. One of the features the designers are very proud about are the huge as well as accurate combat areas. Actual military data was used to create the flight environment of Jet Fighter 3. If a mission takes place in the mountains of South America, the mountains you see are accurate representations of the real thing. Thousands of square miles are correctly recreated and accessed from the CD during the Jet Fighter 3 scenarios but the techies at Mission Studios made sure that there's none of that annoying pausing that often comes in a flight loading from the CD. The carrier on which the player is stationed, the UNS Peacekeeper, is actually a 3D interactive environment that the player can explore. Using this 3D interface, the player can roam the ship between various stations that provide information for each mission. The pilot's terminal can be accessed to review personal stats and email. There is a trophy cabinet that keeps all the player's awards, and there's a library that can be used to review the various fighters and weapon systems, along with military commentaries. Before each mission, the pilot is briefed in full digital dialogue with digital maps. The graphics in Jet Fighter 3 should certainly be one of the premier features. All of the terrain and cities have been rendered using a razor-sharp texture mapping method, so there's no fuzzing of the landscape when you get very close to the ground or buildings. The missile trails are transparent as the missiles speed away, instead of a solid mass of exhaust that just disappears. The clouds are also transparent when there's a small layer, but get thicker as the player gets deeper into the cloud bank. As mentioned before, the designers are really trying to make Jet Fighter 3 a game which is accessible to any game player and not just hardcore simulation fans. A lot of the procedures like targeting and firing at a bad guy have been reduced to a minimum of key presses. The complexity of the missions and weapon system are still included, but the number of keystrokes and steps that have to be taken to accomplish certain tasks have been reduced and simplified. Of course, there's a trade-off in authenticity when designers start cutting down on things, but it was decided that a lot of the authentic features of an actual jet may, in a PC game, detract from the fun of the game. So, Jet Fighter 3 is an effort to combine the reality of combat in a high-tech fighter without a lot of the complication that's inherent in flying one. Said to be released in September, Jet Fighter 3 is striving to be a common man's uncommon fighter sim. The designers have had a lot of experience designing successful fighter sims, and Jet Fighter 3, while not being designed to be absolutely the most accurate representation of an advanced fighter, is shooting to be one of the most enjoyable.